more of Putnam County Heath Alley, superintendent of Putnam County R1. I have my favorite the food service director, Sarah Bradshaw, with me today. Um, we just have a going to have a conversation about some of the changes that are upcoming for the 22-23 school year regarding the uh, food service department. And so uh, the first one everybody needs to know about is that we're no longer having breakfast in the classroom. We've done that the past seven years, and that was a free offering that we did. But this year we're moving uh, back to uh, the elementary gym for the pre-K through 5 students and the high school commons for the 6-12 students. What's the cost of breakfast going to be for parents this coming year? $2. All right. So to start out with, I mean, our goal is to be a warm breakfast every day. But in the beginning, we're going to start out with what? How is it going to work? Every other day. Every other day. So essentially, Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be warm meals. And then we'll have a, an easier prep item on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and, and that's primarily so that we can get the kitchen staff used to this the new changes. going going back to the old method of, of how we used to do stuff right um, so another big change since 2020 um, will be in the high school in that uh, or or in the the meal process that, that no longer the federal government is not paying for everybody's lunch correct right all right so talk a little bit about um, the prices and, and for a la carte etc and so forth okay the, pr the prices for the students will be 275 for a regular lunch um, the milk prices will be 45 cents instead of 40 um, in the middle school and the high school we allow extras and so if they have an extra entire lunch it would be another 275 if they have an extra entree it'd be a dollar 25 an extra side dish would be 75 cents an extra hot roll or a cookie is 35 and then if we uh, do sack lunches for the athletes the price of those will be 325 all right so now um, our, our free we got to talk about free and reduce just a little bit the last couple of years our our free and reduced uh, number has gone down but they haven't been required to be filled out and so uh, mrs. Haley Watt has already those things put up on our on our website. Um, they'll be out in the first day packets. We strongly encourage everybody. Not only does it help you if you qualify, so it, it would uh, lower the price of a meal for you per child, um, but it also uh, allows the school more access to funds from the state and the federal government. So we would really encourage you to get to the website, fill that out. We understand that the lunch costs and breakfast costs are going to be a little bit higher than they have in the past. We hope you understand we live through the same situations in the economy that you are double the fuel cost, double the food cost. And so we're just trying to make sure we have a, a decent price meal so that everybody has an opportunity to eat. So Sarah, thanks for being with me today. Thank she you. so didn't want to do this. I had to drag her in and tie her down. Y'all have a great day, midgets. Thank you.